I'd like to introduce to you our new employee, internet sensation, Mikey Corbray. It's Fantastic Comics, and it's Thursday night. Ah, you're fired. you all to is Justice League. It's a DC Comics Presents. It's one of their many collections that they've put together. This was an oversized book that Mark Wade and Brian Hitch, who did Authority and Justice League and Ultimates, did. And it's a really good Justice League story. It's uh, very positive and has a lot to do with uh, otherworldly uh, things. <laughs> um, I want to show you Mystery Men number four out of five, so it's almost over. And this comic is awesome. It's um, set in like the 20s, and there's these people that are like caped crusaders, and one of the guy's fathers is like summoning demons and some other stuff, and it's really awesome. Um, right next to it, or that's two five. awesomes in one book. Ah, two fantastics. New Mutants. So. So, um, last issue, they were supposed to be taken to H-E-L by doing a, a little incantation, and they, went, and they accidentally went to yeah. hell, and there's Mephisto waiting for them. And it's going to be funny. Speaking of, did you say funny? Yeah. All right, speaking of funny, there's the retroactive book of Justice League of America. It is... Finally, the retroactive books are actually catching up with their creators. They're alive. Um, Ron Mars and Daryl Banks did the Green Lantern, but specifically I want to talk about the fact that Keith Giffen, J.M. DeMatteis, and Kevin McGuire reprise their role on the very funny Bwahaha -ha -ha Justice League. Um, also, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is being brought out by IDW. Number it's one. written by Kevin Eastman, one of the creators of the original series. And also, I'd like to point out this polybagged Ultimates. It's the very first issue, and obviously I can't get at it to show you what's in it. But it's written by Jonathan Hickman, who does Fantastic Four, Asad Rivik, who's a really good artist. And I know that Thor doesn't like it when you spill his mead. Um, down this way, I'm just gonna, I just want to point out... One of my favorite titles, D&D, &D, number 10, Dungeons and Dragons, number 10, is out. But um, I also want to show you Batman Gates of Gotham, 5 of 5. And I've said before, this is probably my favorite storyline going right now. And it's the conclusion. I'm really excited to read it. So, like yeah. Scott Snyder. Who Scott American Snyder. American Vampire. Who came out. American Vampire, yeah. Um, Yule? Oh, Project Superman 3. Yeah, there's plenty of Fear Itself, or actually mostly uh, Flashpoint tie-ins finishing off their series. Uh, FF, Future Foundation, number eight occurs. And it is all, the previous issues have been a lot of build-up with uh, the Inhumans and stuff. And this is supposed to be a very, uh, very action-packed issue. So um, we've got a jam-packed table full of trades, so why don't we go over there? I'm going to buy this book this weekend. What's that book, Mike? FF. Future Foundation? Future I just got off, I just got done talking about it. You did? This well, is excellent I stuff, ain't it? Oh. Yeah, um, Hickman, right? Yes. Scott, and and yours, Stephen Epping, who you may remember from Captain America. But this is all post-Johnny Storm, Fantastic Four. Don't tell him what happens. It's a spoiler. Well, the thing is obviously very upset. But, uh, but no, these are some great issues. Like, Reed Richards becomes, like, a teacher. And, uh, you know, they cont and they uh, strive to make the world a better place. Even if it means hanging out with Dr. Doom. So. Well, I've got a Marvel book also. Spider-Man, the next chapter. I know. They're not like DC that likes to just start over titles willy-nilly oh, yeah. at number one. They go to the entire miniseries first, and this is a retelling of Spider-Man's origin. 
Uncle Ben gets, I think, killed buying a computer for his kid, or for Pete. It's a shame. Anyway, it's John Byrne written, John Bar Byrne art. And I just wanted to point out, since I talked about Dungeons & Dragons over at the new shelf, um, this is Dungeons & Dragons hardcover of the miniseries of Dark Sun. It was a miniseries, right? Dark Sun, yeah. Five so it was five issues, and it just came out in a hardcover trade. So um, if you're a D&D fan, or if you got into the comic because of us, you should definitely check this out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And everybody, just both hardcovers, which we have, we have both of them, of the D&D and D&D Dark Sun, they have at the back of them fourth edition modules on the story you just read. So that's pretty awesome. So, Shadowland is an event that occurs... <laughs> so that was terrifying. Anyhow, we've got Thunderbolts right here. It is a title that I really enjoy. It's written by Jeff Parker, and it's drawn by Kev Walker. And it's a team that is based on the Marvel villains that are being rehabilitated through community service in a superheroing way, led by Luke Cage, and uh, he was assigned the gig by Steve Rogers, who's Captain America. And I suggest you pick it up. It's a very good cliffhanger book, and what's the matter? What's the matter, Jeff? Well, this is the last week for new DC titles. Well, what do you mean? I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, it's all ending. There's not going to be any more DC titles after this. Oh, you mean like Batman is ending? There's yeah. not going to be another Batman, Dark Batman, Knight, and Superman, Action, and Action. Justice League. What are we they never do? start Justice League all over again. What are we going to do? Well, I suggest after this week, you just read your comics and hope, just hope, that it might get a little bit better. Okay. And don't forget, new comics every Wednesday.